Rick turns particles into pancakes. That sentence requires a little bit of explaining. So Rick is the relativistic heavy ion collider. It's a particle accelerator on Long Island in New York. What makes it special is the particles it accelerates. Basically, it takes heavy atoms, like gold, strips them of their electrons so they become ions, and then smashes them into each other at near the speed of light, hence the name. The details of how this is done is a bit much for this video, but I do have a playlist on accelerator physics, so check that out if you're interested. What's particularly fascinating here is what happens to the ions once they're already at speed. One of the weird consequences of Einstein's special relativity is that if something is moving near the speed of light relative to you, it'll physically get shorter in the direction of motion. This is called Lorentz contraction. And this applies to the heavy ions in Rick. Usually, we think of atomic nuclei as roughly spherical in shape, but relative to the people and the machinery in the accelerator, the heavy ions are moving incredibly close to the speed of light, about 99.995%. And that means that along the direction of motion, they get compressed, and when you take a sphere and compress it along one axis, you get a pancake. And this happens for both beams that are on a collision course. The end result is two pancake-shaped clumps of particles smashing into each other, creating a quark-gluon plasma in the process. And we know that this is what happens, because if Lorentz contraction didn't occur, the ions would be less dense and hence interactions would be less frequent than we observe. In fact, this is one of the few ways that we can actually see the effects of Lorentz contraction in the lab frame. Most other experimental evidence for Lorentz contraction comes indirectly by considering how high-velocity systems would see the world from their perspectives. As an interesting aside, Lorentz contraction can't actually make the pancake arbitrarily thin, regardless of how close the speed of light the ion gets. There's a funny phenomenon called Wee fluctuations that always occurs in the lab frame regardless of the speed of the ion, and these set the lower limit to the thickness of a pancake at about one femtometer. This is in contrast with the next to Wee fluctuations and the not so Wee fluctuations, which are Lorentz contracted slightly and significantly respectively. If you want to hear more about Wee fluctuations, let me know in the comments and I might make a video about them.